DJ Pro AI tutorial. I'm DJ Spiegelspin and I'm going to show you how to take advantage of DJ Pro's artificial intelligence. So let's get started. First thing that we're going to talk about is auto mix. Now this is different than other auto mixes that are available like Spotify has an auto mix and the older version of DJ Pro had an auto mix that wasn't powered by AI. So what it would do was at the select at the time you selected whether it be like 30 seconds left or 10 seconds left in the song, it would just slide the crossfader and then you could have it do a random transition or you could have it do the same transition every time. But now with the new artificial intelligence utilizing Apple's new M1 chip, it has, it's like having a real virtual DJ DJing for you and doing the mixes. So I'm gonna show you really quick. I made a lot of videos on this specifically, but I'm gonna show you how to take advantage of the artificial intelligence. So to access auto mix, you could go in the menu to auto mix and then you select the playlist. So let's just go over here. I'm gonna do pop 2K. And now when you when you play the playlist, when you play the playlist, it's gonna automatically pick the correct transition and the correct time. So it, in order to change this, you go over here to auto mix and now the transition is, we could do automatic. So now this is gonna use the artificial intelligence to pick the correct mix for the two songs. So before they did the update, you had the basic fade, filter, EQ, and echo. And I think they had a backspin too. And then now they made, they added the riser effect, which is really cool. It's like, um like a buildup like they would have before a drop in a EDM song. And then it also has Neuromix, which is what uses the artificial intelligence, Neuro, which is what I'm gonna talk about next. So at, when you have a song playing, it's gonna play a song in the playlist and it's gonna use the algorithm and use the artificial intelligence to seamlessly mix from one song to another. So this is great if you're DJing at a party and you have to go use the bathroom real quick or if it's like a family party or something and you wanna DJ for a little bit and then you could just have a playlist playing and enjoy the party. So if you are in, in this screen on Automix, it's more like, a, like a, a regular music app like Spotify or something like that. The only thing you could adjust is the time of the song like where the song's playing. But if you go over here in cl in two deck mode, you could be DJ and say you're DJing these two songs and oh, let's see, down here, stop auto mix. So now auto mix is off. So let's say you're DJing these two songs together and you wanna leave the decks for a second. You could just hit start auto mix and then it is gonna be auto mix. So when one song ends, it's gonna use the artificial intelligence to mix it into the next song. And it's gonna do this until you hit stop auto mix. So make sure when you get, when you're back ready to DJ, you hit stop auto mix because it'll get a little, a little confusing because when auto mix is on, when you move the crossfader to the other deck, it will change the song. So it's like pressing the next button but instead you could use the crossfader, which is kind of cool. So this is one of the best features of DJ Pro, even though it's not DJing, it's the opposite of DJing. I believe this is the future and definitely practice and get good with the auto mix. Really cool feature is going to be Neuro Mix. This was not a feature on any DJ software until DJ Pro came out with it. It is completely groundbreaking and it is ch changes the way we think about DJ. So what they did was using the Apple's very powerful processing chip, they found a way to separate 
different parts of the song, such as the vocals, the drums, and the harmonics in real time. So you could load up a song into your deck and then you can instantly make it into an acapella. Before this, you would have to mess around with the EQs, maybe take out the mids to get out, out the vocals or take out the highs, and it wasn't exactly accurate. But now with Neuromix, if you want to just play the vocals or if you just want to play the beat, you could do it with just the press of a button or the slide of a fader. Now, it's not perfect. Sometimes it doesn't sound 100%, but it, most of the time it does a great job. There's a lot of technology going on when you use it, so it's it hasn't been around for that long, so it's not 100% perfect. It won't be like a studio quality acapella, but it'll still do the job. So now there's a couple ways to access this within the app. When you go to your mixer over here, so you got your effects, your loops, your hot cues, and your mixer, and then they added this N. That is the Neuromix. So in this screen, in this screen, it starts with, you have the drums, the harmonics, and the vocals. You could get rid of the drums, you could get rid of the harmonics, you could get rid of the vocals. Up here, you could turn the whole section off, turn it on, and all that. And then up here, you could change the settings. So you could, this is drum, harmonics, and vocals. You could do, instead of harmonics, you could do drum, bass, and melodic. And then you could also just do instrument and acapella. So instead of having the three bands, you only have two. And then this is this feature is also always available down here. So let's say you're scratching or doing something with this deck and you can't have that mixer open. Down here, you could just quickly go boom, vocals only, or boom, instrumentals only. This is great where when if you're playing two songs together and you didn't realize that they both have vocals, you could just go whoop take off the vocals and then you won't be having two vocals playing at the same time which is something that you're never supposed to do as a DJ so this feature is amazing and it takes a little bit of getting used to when they first came out with it I, I wasn't using it because it was a little bit complicated and stuff just like the other features but as you get used to it, it is truly amazing, and there's so much things you could do with it. You could use, you could take one song's beat, and then use that beat, and then use another song's uh, vocals, and you made your whole new song. Or you could use, uh, uh, if you're using title streaming services, you could go over here, and you could go to royalty-free beats. And then you could load up a beat, and then you can take the vocals from your favorite song and then use those vocals and then you have your own song. So definitely use this feature. And then another feature that uses the artificial intelligence is this feature, which is the, the hand gesture controls. It uses artificial intelligence and the camera on your iPad or your phone and it tracks your movements and you could do different DJ effects, you could do, you could set loops, and you could even scratch by just using your hands. So this opens up a whole new world of possibilities with DJing because now you don't have to actually be touching something, you could be doing gestures in the air. And I'm really excited to see where they go with these artificial intelligence features, artificial intelligence features in the future, especially now with all the talk about the metaverse and virtual reality, I think DJ Pro is set up for success in the future of DJing. So if you like learning about new stuff with DJing, up and coming stuff with DJing, and other ways to think about DJing, subscribe to my channel. I'm DJ Spiegelspin.